Hey everybody, I'm Chef Colin with Finn and Forage. Today we're going to show you how to process a fish like a chef. Today we're going to show you how to use the whole fish. We've shown videos before of just doing a fillet, that's what a lot of people do. You took the time to hunt and catch this fish, we want to make sure you're utilizing the whole animal. It's a beautiful fish, there's so many pieces to use, we want to make sure you're maximizing your catch. Alright, here we have a beautiful uh, black cod or sable fish, sometimes we call it butterfish to sex it up. Um, first thing we're going to do, reach that fin back, place your knife right there, cut down until you feel the bone, about halfway down obviously, boom. Then I like to follow this ridge right here, right by the fin. These are kind of round, so you got to kind of feel for it. So we're just going to bring this knife along the edge. Right along, see how it just mirrors the edge. It's all about feeling the fish line. So now we have this cut and this cut. I'm going to turn the fish a little bit here. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to go down this way. Same down this line. Gonna feel the edge of the fish and work our way down. Right along that line. That's when you know you got the right line. Now when you get to this bottom fin, this is where all the guts are. So I'm gonna now have a shallower angle here. You go right up to there. Boom. Okay. So now we have our cuts all along here. We're just gonna finish this cut out. Now we have one, two, three. Now we're going to make a cut right here at the base of the tail. And we're, again, we're going to feel the angle. Notice I'm using this flexible knife, so I like to have it down like that. So now I'm going to hold that tail piece at, a, at an angle not too sharp, but so I can follow the, the bone line. I'm going to pull this flesh up so I can get right underneath it. And just bring that right through. Bam! Looks like we got a little bonus here with the egg sac. Look at that. A lot of times you'll get some roe in there. And this is beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Do not let that go to waste. Look at this beauty. Wow. So in, in European cultures, they'll do what's called botarga, where they salt cure this, and it just ages, and then they shred it over pasta. Fantastic. Even if you're not going to do that, give it a quick little brine and uh, sear it off. Delicious. So we have our first fillet there. This discoloration is normal. It's not bad. We're going to take that line off anyway. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Flip it over. Do our first primal cut right underneath both fins. Down till we hear the bone clicking. Sometimes we have to cut through there a little bit. There we go. And then do that same thing where you find that line, cut along. It's like outlining what you're gonna cut. It's like stay in the lines. Now this one's already got a cut on this side, so we should be... Then we're just going to cut along this other side. Right along the bone line, right over the fin, and we repeat our steps. Mark it down, cut down to the bone, cut a little ways, then hold your tail up as you fall the bone line down. You should hear clicking as you go along, then you know you're close to the bone that vertebrae. Helps to give a little peek. And there we go. Two fillets. Beautiful, look at that. Oh my God. The 
couple other usable parts in here. We have our liver. It's got a little gouge in it, but also definitely a usable piece. Just give it a quick sear, brown butter, some onions. What? All right, some more. These guys out. The rest of this we can use in our uh, stock. Now, we've got our two fillets out. We've scored on the row and the liver is out. A lot of times, no matter how good you get it, and I, I did ride right on the bone there, but as the vertebrae go out, there's always this little bit of flesh right here. So I like to take a spoon, just kind of scrape all that off. We want to get everything out of here. You'll find you get quite a bit um, that you can use for uh, a moose or a tartar. Like I said, we want to utilize all this fish and respect it, right? It's a beautiful gift from the sea and we want to use everything. You do it on both sides, you get quite a bit actually. On a big salmon, you'll find you get even more. And that blood's just extra iron. All right, now, one of the great delicacies is the collar. So if you lift up the gills, you'll get your line. And this collar goes from the top, wraps all the way around. First thing I like to do is cut that little membrane. So we got a nice little line there. Just basically following the gill line, that bone right there. And then we're gonna cut along the top here until we have it close out. Now we have a little handle there, and we can follow again the gill line around without the membrane through to the bottom. Flip it over and just continue that line. Close that out. Now what you have is a beautiful collar. Grill it, barbecue it, roast it. Mmm. Best part. Okay, cut that. Now the the bones here we can use for a stock, roast them off, a little stock for a bouillabaisse or a risotto. The bigger the fish, the more you'll cheek you'll get, but every fish has a little bit and I hate to see it go to waste. Uh, so if you feel right there underneath the eye, next to where the mouth comes together, there's that little fleshy part, which is the cheek. And I like to pierce in at this angle. And just wrap it around. Careful not to cut yourself. It's like digging it out. Nice little piece right there. Take the skin off. <clears throat> It's like the oyster of the fish. Mm. Most people, I think, these days like the skin on, so it's a beautiful skin to have. But if you'd like to skin it, the first thing you're going to do, uh, 
up. I like to get near the edge of the table because I want to keep this knife flat. So if I'm over here, I'm going to be up in an angle here. I won't be able to get that clean skin roll. So we're going to move it toward the edge of the board. And again, starting at the tail. So we can get a nice little hold of it. And just keep a nice low angle. And just follow the skin down. <clears throat> now they have little pin bones that go along here. It takes quite a while to get all these out. So the best bet is to do a little V cut. So if you just feel the line right there, Drop your knife right along that angle and just do a thin little V down to the bottom. You can do, either do one big roast like that or you can break it up into nice searing sized pieces. That's the one for the kids. And you have a nice little setup here. I'll trim those up later for a better shot. Okay. And this one we're going to leave the skin on. We'll do that same little V cut. So you can feel the bones kind of pricking up. You just follow that down in a real steep bee pattern. And that can go on the stock as well. And usually what you get is Two thinner pieces and then a nice little big fillet for another option. All right, look at this bounty we got out of this black cod. The sable fish just gave us so much to play with. We got the head, of course, and the bones that we can use for a stock, roast them off first, throw them in water and stock. We dug out some cheek, which is kind of that oyster, that, that the sweetest part on the whole thing. We have the collar, which can be braised, grilled, roasted, just amazing. You got to pick at it, but it's like, you know, fighting for it, it's the best part of it. Then we have our classic fillets. Uh, we did both skin on and skin off. Uh, we scraped down the bone to get our uh, extra flesh that would have just gone to waste otherwise. Turn it into mousse, we could turn it into tartare. Then we have the liver that uh, we could be seared with onions, classic, delicious. And the big booty prize with the roe and the egg that is just uh, huge. That's a meal in itself right there. Put that on some brown butter toast and all right, enjoy. I'm Chef Colin and that's how you process the whole fish. That's it. It's my knife. <laughs> I don't know why I want. I feel comfortable. Yeah, feel I'm Chef Colin, and that's how you process the whole fish. One well, and done. One well, and done. <laughs> yeah, right. He just walked off. He just mic dropped right there. <laughs> All right, one more time.